अरे दोस्तों उम्मीद है आप खैरियत से होंगे आज हम क्लाइमेटोलॉजी के इस क्लास में कुछ फंडामेंटल डिफिनीशन और बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजीज के बारे में पढ़ेंगे उम्मीद है कि ये वीडियो आपको अच्छी लगेगी आज की इस वीडियो में हम पढ़ने वाले हैं क्लाउड्स एंड इट्स टाइप्स प्रेसिपिटेशन एंड इट्स टाइप्स मयरिंग ऑफ प्रेसिपिटेशन वट इज क्लाउड Cloud is the visible mass of condensed watery vapor floating in the atmosphere typically above the general level of the ground. Asal mein badal nazar aane wale kasif shuda aabi bukharat jo kur rahe hawaii ke chan kilometer ke unchai par paaye jate hain. The clouds are formed as a result of evaporation of water. From this sentence we can understand that The cloud is a result of evaporation and evaporation is the cause of cloud. In what is evaporation? Evaporation is the conversion of liquid form into the gaseous form at any temperature. Definition se pata chalta hai ki evaporation ke liye koi khas temperature mutayin nahi hai aur ye har temperature par ho sakta hai. ताहम तजर्बात से ये बात वाज है कि टम्परेचर बढ़ने से एवाफोरेशन भी बढ़ जाती है तो एवाफोरेशन और टम्परेचर का डायरेक्ट रिलेशन है यही तो वजह है कि तेज़ धूप वाले दिन कपड़े जल्दी सूख जाते हैं बनस्बत उस दिन के जब बादल हो दर फॉर्म एज रिजल्ट ऑफ एवाफोरेशन और दिन कंडेंस इन द एटमोसफियर and take form of visible mass like dust evaporation ke natije mein banne wale vapor atmospheric convection ke zariye atmosphere mein vertical motion karte hain aur jab aise sphere mein chale jate hain jahan par low temperature region maujood ho to wahan par ye condense ho jate hain aur cloud ki shakal ikhtiyar kar lete hain the molecule contained in the vapor have small size while in a cloud the size of the molecule is larger so the cloud is more visible than the vapor in this picture you can see the different types of clouds which are actually the visible and condensed masses of water vapors they have different shapes and they have different color some of them have white color while other have a dark silvery color but now the question is how these clouds form so actually the cloud formation happens at multiple layer in the atmosphere when air cools we need at saturation point condensation occurred form clouds you can observe this process with a small tea kettle on a stove when a stove heats the tea kettle and the water inside the kettle begins to boil condensation occur at the spot because of the cooler air that surround the spot to badal banne ka amal jo hai ye mukhtalif atmospheric layers mein hota hai in order to study the formation of clouds we must know about the different layer and different sphere like troposphere स्ट्रेटोस्फियर्स एंड अदर स्फियर ऑफ द एटमोसफियर जब आबी बुखार बिलो दूरेशन पॉइंट पर कूल होते हैं तो ये बादल बनाते हैं इसके मिसाल में हम टी केटल लेंगे जब इससे डकन हटाया जाता है तो इसके लोअर साइड पर वेफर कंडेंस होते हैं तो इस तरह इस अमल के जरिए एटमॉस्फेयर में बादल भी बनते हैं इस स्लाइड में आपको दिखाया गया है कि हाउ द क्लाउड फॉर्मेशन अगर सो द क्लाउड फॉर्मेशन अगर इन थ्री स्टेप्स इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप व्हिच इज एक्चुअली द इवापोरेशन द वार्म मॉइस्ट एयर एराइज फ्रॉम द सरफेस एंड एज इट राइज इट्स कूल्स In a second step at certain heights the water vapor cools to the dew point and condensation begin 
The word, in the third step, the water vapor condenses on tiny particles in the air, forming clouds. So there are these three steps, uh, which are important in the cloud formation. The next topic is the types of clouds. As an observer standing on the ground and looking up into the sky, you will see the three basic types of clouds: cirrus, stratus, and cumulus. Scientists further classify these three types into four distinct subcategories: high clouds, middle clouds, low clouds, based on the altitude of the clouds formation meteorologists use the classification system of the naming clouds of howard this is called the lanian system using words from specific latin bases even with the minor modification over the year scientists still rely on howard's naming system for the classifying clouds because of its simplicity and efficiency jab hum types of clouds padhte hain to yahan par ek scientist hai howard iska banaya hua system of classification is the best all over the world and is used for its simplicity and efficiency इसमें बहुत से मॉडिफिकेशन भी किए गए हैं वक्त गुजरने के साथ साथ लेकिन फिर भी हम इस सिस्टम को इस्तेमाल करते हैं और ये सिस्टम लेनियन सिस्टम कहलाता है हावर्ड एसाइन क्लाउड्स ने इन्वेस्ट ऑन देयर अपेरेंस एंड अल्टीट्यूड्स ही नोटिस दैट द क्लाउड्स वर इधर कन्वेक्टिव कन्वेक्टिव मीनिंग दे मूव circularly and vertically in the atmosphere or uh, they appeared layer in stacked atop each other all the three of the major cloud types have names that originate in latin usne badal ko teen aqsam mein taqseem kiya aur unko latini zuban se akhaz kiye gaye lafz लफ्ज भी तजवीज किए सेरस क्लाउड्स लातीन बेस फॉर दिस वर्ल्ड मीन करल विच इज वाई दिस क्लाउड्स ऑफ एन लुक लाइक द हॉर्स टेल्स और वेस्ट बी स्ट्रैंड सेरस क्लाउड्स यूजली डिस्क्राइब क्लाउड्स हाई इन एटमोसफियर दैट्स कैन इंक्लूड वेस्ट बी क्लाउड्स typically with ice crystals variation includes cirrus cirro cumulus and cirro stratus as defined by the clouds position in the atmosphere in a picture you can see uh, the cloud stripes which are look like the horse tail or wisp strands These clouds are called cirrus clouds. They have usually the ice crystals, stratus clouds, meaning layered or stretched out. This refers to clouds stretched across the sky in the form of sheets. Layered stratus clouds have both flat tops and bases. They can appear is if they take up the whole sky stretching from the horizon to horizon other combination and variation include stratus stratocumulus nimbostratus and altostratus in this picture you can see the stratus clouds which are stretching from the horizon to horizon and have take of the whole sky they are look as the sheet and the sky the third types of cloud is the cumulus clouds and the word cumulus means 
heave or file which is how these clouds appear in the sky a heave file of mashed potato or cattens wool heavily grouped together Camellus clouds often file off in a multiple layer of the atmosphere representing clouds that develop vertically Camellus clouds often look like feathers with annual tufts of tops of or columns of clouds staked vertically Variation includes Camellus Camellus congestus Camellus nimbus and alto Camellus These are the shaped types of the Camellus clouds In the picture you can see the clouds which are look like the cotton balls or potatoes Now we will discuss some terminologies which are used in the above discussion The alto means and uh, the alto is a latin word which means high the nimbus from the nimbus which is meaning rain this is also a latin word camolo means heap or file and cero is latin base word for carol The next topic is the precipitation so any products of the condensation of atmospheric water vapor that fall under the action of earth gravity from clouds is called precipitation the main form of precipitation include drizzle rain sleet snow ice ice pellets gropels and hail we will discuss all of these precipitation form and detail but before that we will discuss how precipitation occur so precipitation occur when a portion of atmosphere becomes saturated with water vapor the next point is that the relative humidity reaches 100% so there are two points the portion of atmosphere will be saturated first and then the relative humidity reach 100% then the precipitation will occur saturation is a process which is enhanced by cooling the air and adding water vapor ab hamare saath saturation ek aisa process hai jo increase hota hai jab air cool hoti hai aur vapor ज्यादा होती है प्रेसिपिटेशन के हमारे साथ दो बड़े टाइप्स हैं द वन इज द ट्रू प्रेसिपिटेशन वेन वाटर वेपर कंडेन सफिशेंटली देन इट इज कॉल्ड ट्रू प्रेसिपिटेशन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द ट्रू प्रेसिपिटेशन और रेन स्लीट एंड हेल एट्सेट्रा द अदर टाइप इज द फॉल्स प्रेसिपिटेशन vapor condenses and sufficiently it is considered as false precipitation the example of false precipitation or fog and mist fog and mist are considered as collides and you may know about collides that what are collides and what are their properties what is rain rain is water in liquid form rain may actually start out as snow but melts before it reach near the grounds in a picture you can see the rains and a person who have an umbrella to keep safe of rain what is drizzle drizzle is made of small water droplets that are falling very slowly these are also small water droplets but the size of these droplet is so smaller than that of the rain and the speed of them is very slow the state of rain and drizzle is same but the main difference is the size and the speed of falling particles 
The rain have bigger size of droplets falling with a relatively high speed than the drizzles and the drizzles have oh, small droplets and have low speed. In, in this picture you can see a small girl who is playing in the grounds in a drizzle. Snow. What is snow? Snow is water vapor that changes directly from directly from gas to a solid form. It does not go through a liquid phase. Snow form as tiny crystal depending on the temperature at which it forms. It may look like a star, a flats, or needles. In this picture, you can see the snow and some vehicles. The snow has with a small with a small crystals sleet sleet is liquid water that freeze before it hits the ground actually the sleet is in liquid form but when it reach or it hit the grounds it become freezes it looks like small fillets of ice the heavy sleet is harmful to crops and trees Sleets can damage them and is responsible for crops loss, especially in flower season and fruit season. In this picture, you can see a sleets which which cover the ground surface. Freezing rain. Freezing rain is rain that freezes after it hits the grounds. As the rain continues to freeze, it can become very heavy on trees, limbs, and power lines. So, what is the actual difference between the freezing rain and sleet? So, sleet is uh, liquid water did freeze before it hit the grounds, while freezing rain is the rain that freezes after it hit the ground. In this picture, you can see the freezing rain over a tree. Hell, hell is water that gets caught in a strong upper moving winds. The water will freeze then start to fall with more water attached to the hail stone. Once the hail is too heavy or strong, upward winds weaken and the hail will fall to the grounds. While most hail is small, some hailstone can be big as soft wall. They are also harmful to the crops and animals. In the picture, you can see the hail stone in the hand of a person. And other pictures contains also the hail stones lying on the ground. Tornadoes. What is actually a tornado? They were tornadoes come from the Spanish words torrenda or thunderstorm. Tornadoes are rapidly rotating air that is rising. Winds in the tornadoes may contain wind speed of 100 to 300 miles per hour. Tornadoes move across the grounds at a speed of v at the speed of 20 to 40 miles per hour and most last less than 30 minutes. The width of the tornado is about the size of a football field, but in some cases it can be almost a mile wide. Most tornadoes are found with a vague thunderstorm known as supercells. In a picture you can see the tornadoes which are the moving air upwards. Now the question arises how we measure the precipitation. So the precipitation in the form of rains and in the form of rain is measured by the rain gauge. The rain gauge is device.
to measure the precipitation in the form of rain. The precipitation in the form of snow is measured in rain snow equivalent. We will discuss the two types of measurement of the precipitations for snow and rain. Rain gauge. It is an instrument used to measure the quantity of rain. It is made of glass or plastic. And a scale is of inches or centimeter is drawn over the surface of glass or plastic. The rain gauge measures the rain in inches or centimeters. In the picture, you can see the rain gauge which is used for measuring the rain. A scale is drawn in centimeters and inches on it. What is snow rain equivalent? This, this is the slope of graph drawn between the snow in inches to the rain in inches. We draw the snow in inches on y-axis and the rain in the inches on x-axis. Then the slope is obtained by dividing the y-axis on the x-axis. Typically, fresh snow is only about 5 to 15 percent as dense as water. As general guidelines, 10 inches of snow will have about the same as 1 inches of rain. Look at the graph which is drawn the snow in inches at y axis and the rain in inches at x axis. So when there is uh, there is 10 inches snow it contains 1 inches rain in the form of water. Subscribe kijiye hamare channel ko aur bell icon ko dabaiye hamari latest video sabse pehle dekhne ke liye.